What's up, boxing fans? This is the Rope and Dope Report. I'm your host, Chris Carlson. I got another video. This one's not a prediction video. This is about the much talked about um, on websites, different interviews that people have had, different articles I've read in forums, especially on the forums, of course. Um, the much talked about sparring session between Lamont Peterson, the up and comer 140 pounder, and uh, Floyd Money Mayweather. Okay? Now, before we even get into this, um, we don't know, okay? We weren't there. We don't know. And if anybody's watched boxing for the last five years, ten years, twenty years, you've heard this stuff all the time. Even with the rib injury that Floyd, did. you hear people getting hurt all the time, and they win the fight. You know what I mean? And they postpone fights and win the fights and that type of thing. So you hear so much, and you hear from all we've really heard from is is Zab Judah for one. He did say Lamont got the best of him. Um, We've heard from Floyd's camp. It wasn't Roger. It wasn't Floyd. It wasn't Floyd Mayweather Sr. It was someone in the camp. Um, that's the only person we've heard on that side. And then we heard from Peterson's trainer. And he said it was getting too heated that he broke it up. But Lamont got the better of him. But it was heated. Too heated. Okay, so we don't really know. So I'm not here to say what happened. Okay, The only way I think we know exactly what happened, and if uh, the Peterson side is true, is if Floyd came out and looked real average and looked pretty, eh, oh boy, you know that, then it happened. I believe that for sure because the same thing before the Oscar Pacquiao fight. Edwin Valero, Victor Ortiz. Victor Ortiz gave him a black eye. You saw it in 24-7. And then you saw his performance. You're like, yeah, they all beat him up. You know, then I can see that and I'll be willing to uh, give Peterson the whole thing. Right now, I'm in between. Because I've heard this story so many times, not just this in particular story, but just in general. Lamont Peterson, I gotta admit, I like both Peterson brothers. I, I really like them. They're really good fighters, really fart, fart, fast, sorry, fast fighters, uh, good boxers, good technique, just all around. Um, on the way up, though, on the come up, I've liked Anthony a little better. I think he has more power in his punches. And I just liked him a little better on the come up, but neither have gone, has, uh, neither of them have fought a top ten opponent, so we won't know until then. Um, but let's just talk about what his, his trainer said, Peterson's trainer. Okay. Now Peterson's trainer said that they were talking smack before they got in the ring. Okay, so that means it's getting heated. Then during, and then it got so heated that he, not Roger, not Floyd, not anybody else, but he got in the ring and broke it up and said, stop. Okay? So that, that can be looked at both ways. And another way to look at it is a lot of times, you know, the guy coming in to spar in Floyd, let's look at Floyd. Floyd, you know, can run five, eight miles, be, you know, already done some gym work and then spar. So you're not necessarily, it's already a full day of workout sometimes or at least a half day of workout, and then sparring. So, whereas you just come in, you know, it sounds like four minute rounds, 15 to 30 second breaks, eight, eight of them, you come in and do that and you're fresher. And sometimes even Floyd will use a couple different sparring partners in, in a 12 round session, you know. So it's tough to say exactly. Like I said, this is a sparring session anyway, but Peterson's, it, it is a little shaky that Peterson had to get in the ring and break up the whole session. Now, because it was getting too heated. Now I could see if someone threw each other down or threw each other through the rope or was hitting low or it got real heated. But how come you didn't break it up when Lamont Peterson stole on Floyd when Floyd was taking his break, getting something to drink? And, and Peterson said no and, and stole on him and, and got him back in the ring. You know, it can be taken both ways. It could be taken that maybe Lamont in the first four rounds or whatever was getting Floyd. And then Floyd turned it around on him, and he didn't want to see his young guy go through it anymore. You know, it, it's really, it can be taken anyway, okay? The, the bottom line is he was getting good sparring, okay? And Floyd gets Zab Judah, Demarcus Corley. He gets good sparring a lot of times. And Lamont, this is a positive for Lamont because it gives him confidence going against the world champ. The fact that he was even talking smack before he got in the ring tells me the guy has plenty of confidence. So it's tough to say what happened. Uh, let me hear your comment. Anyway, this has been the Rope and Dope Report. I'm your host, Chris Carlson. Peace.